Welcome fans of Fate Grand Order, I am Avon, you're watching FGO Tips, and today I'm running through the third battle in the Bicorn Hunt. Before we go any further though, I must confess that this video recording is actually from earlier today. I completed the battle from the airport while waiting 90 minutes for customs. I wasn't sure if I would have time to do this from the hotel or not, and I wanted to complete it before the timer ran out. So the screen recording is my first attempt at the quest, but this commentary is coming from afterwards. So this is the third day of the hunting quest, and it's all about lancers. Um, actually I have a feeling this video is probably going up late so this information might be moot, but sabers are going to be your best bet to get through it. You'll fight homunculi in the first wave, second wave, it's just going to be a single bicorn. The former are apt to drop homunculus babies and the latter to drop warhorses young horns. So if you're in need of either of those, or just looking to stock up for the future, this is the quest to farm. You're probably pretty safe if you just bring three powerful sabers, especially sabers with single target noble phantasms like Okita or Bride Narrow. I don't think you need an especially cohesive strategy as long as you can field some level 80 and 90 sabers. That being said, it might not be the fastest way to get through this, just the safest. So I decided to try throwing together something uh, a little bit different, just to see how it would go, and we'll consider this a learning experience. So I brought Bride Narrow because she's a saber with a single target noble phantasm, and uh, more importantly it's arts based. And then this first round was pretty much all about building up Narrow's NP gauge and Tamamo, ideally building up Tamamo's NP gauge to 100 as well. In case uh, I ended up clearing all the homunculi before I got there, I had Waver as a backup, but it actually worked out pretty well. Nero has the Heaven's Feel CE to boost NP strength by 40%. The Black Grail would have been even better, but <laughs> sadly, I do not have one of those yet. Still, I wanted to rely on Nero's NP to do the bulk of this damage. I didn't need the additional charge, <laughs> but going all out on the attack buff, so Tactician's Command for attack and damage plus, and then swap Waver out for now. I put Mozart in the first sub slot even though he's not leveled up. His Protection of Muse is a nice arts card buff for the whole party. I only got that up to level 6 so far, so I think that's like 30 or 33% for one turn. Then Tamamo's Fox Wedding is at level 10, so that's targetable 50% arts card boost. And it lasts 3 turns even better. Then, of course, Flowers for the Earth for a little more attack, Stars for the Sky so I can fill our NP gauge back up as fast as possible, and what else? I think I threw in Buff All Allies there also. So this is about as strong as I can make her Noble Phantasm right now. And I was hoping to do close to half the Bicorn's HP bar, which would have been about 290,000. However, I fell short with like 237 instead. Tamamo's NP will help prep Nero for round 2 though, and this attack does add another 30,000 thanks to all the arts card buffs. Unfortunately, not enough to get Nero's NP gauge filled though. And I had been sort of secretly hoping that this Bicorn would just knock Mozart out, and then Waver could come back and fill Nero's NP gauge. Probably shouldn't cheer against my servants like that, but I mean, he's level 18, and kind of served his usefulness here. I mean, let's face it, no matter what happens, he's probably not going to last too much longer anyway. Case in point. There he goes. <laughs> okay, so, Waver is back, Nara's about to be at 100% NP again. Unfortunately, she has less buffs this time around, so it won't be quite as strong. But I got kind of lucky, pulled a bunch of narrow cards, and what I was thinking was maybe I could build some kind of brave chain that would make up most of the difference. I think I went with the buster card, yeah, for the damage. I still have Fox Wedding on, so I saved the arts card for last. Anyway, uh, it doesn't do as much damage as the first time for sure, but still managed to get uh, 190, 197,000 from the NP, and then another 
What was that about 60,000 more damage from the rest of the attacks? And watching this now, I'm starting to wonder <laughs> if I should have saved all of the arts buffs for a narrow brave chain instead of throwing Tamamu's NP in there the first time. Oh well, that 80% buster card is definitely going to be enough to finish this off. So, yeah, <laughs> that's about all there is to this one. It ended up taking me nine turns to run through it. That's not terrible for farming, but I'll bet I could make it a little bit shorter if I had time to try it a few more times. If you ended up farming this one, how many turns were you averaging per fight? Let me know. Kind of curious if just using three sabers would be faster than that or slower. Tomorrow is the day I'm looking forward to because I'm almost completely out of tier stones, so good luck farming today, good luck farming tomorrow, and as always, thanks for watching.